You, you say you're not a racist, and I take you at face value. But I want to ask you um, about the policies and their intended or unintended consequences. Because they sure as hell attract a lot of people as supporters who are avowedly racist. And I think about an exchange you had with Donald Trump on Breitbart Radio. It was very interesting. Trump said that he was in favor of high-skilled immigrants. And you said, well, wait a minute. If you're going to end up with two-thirds of Silicon Valley CEOs being from South Asia, yep. and then you paused and you said, a country is more than an economic community. Yes. So basically, you're saying that there are too many people like me in America, and isn't that racist? No, 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 no. Let's talk about it. Economic nationalism doesn't care about your race, your ethnicity, your religion, doesn't care about uh, you know, your gender, doesn't care about your religion, doesn't care about what your sexual preference is. It cares about if you're a United States citizen. But okay. those people are all in Silicon Valley. They are American citizens. They have well, we don't know. We don't. We don't. Hang on. We don't. They may, we don't know. They may look we don't, different. No, no. We don't know what's coming through by HB1 visas or not. What I'm saying is that we can't get this country sorted out until we've now taken the entire elementary school and made it science, technology, engineering, and math. But, but you're, for you're the, no, that, Steve, not, with all due respect, what, no. what, what, that, what that answer implied no. was they'd come from the wrong culture. If they came from the right culture, if I if I was white and, and Christian, by the way, by the way, you might makes, have a different reaction. Makes absolutely no difference. No, if you, no if what you're, do you mean by the way? If you're from, if you're from if you're from Asia and you're here, second generation, you're an American citizen, absolutely no problem. These HB1 visas, where you come here and basically to take the jobs of American citizens, is just not acceptable, and that's not racist. American citizens. By the way, the central beating heart of this is that Hispanics and blacks have to get into the high value added tech jobs. We're never going to do that as long as they have unfair competition. Remember, when, when, when Sessions and I first started this back... By the way, you're not also going to do that by gutting spending. I mean, you're celebrating the de deconstruction of the administrative state, but it is all those scholarships and programs and you know, pre-K and nutrition programs that help poor people rise up. And I don't understand why... By the way, have we, seen, their... have we, just, we, we just passed a $4.3 trillion dollar budget. They didn't cut a penny. In fact, they added to all the programs. When they added to the defense programs, that's, they added all to all these, other, all these other programs. By the way, we didn't cut one penny out of those programs. We have, we have one point, by the way, it's 1.3 trillion of discretionary spending. We have trillion dollar deficits in, 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 in structurally now well, in the future. That's because of a, a trillion and a half dollar tax cut to no, the No, the rich. trillion and a half dollar tax cut <laughs> was supposed to be the concomitant part was supposed to be some pretty significant cuts in the budget. And, and by the way, the Republic, the permanent political class failed to do it. When President Trump finally woke up to the fact that he had been sold a bill of goods, remember, he's saying that, hey, this will never happen again. One of the events to watch in this coming election before November 6th, September 30th is the end of, this, uh, end of the appropriations year. He has already said, I'm not kicking the can down the road anymore. We're not going to have any CRs. And that's why you're starting to see on Capitol Hill now, people are talking about, we have to get this done before the August recess. Okay, I got to get a few more th yeah. th things. But by the way, by, what I'm saying is that I think that what President Trump's doing in nationalizing this, the wall is central. The wall is not just totemic. The wall is absolutely central to his program. I believe that what he's going to do is, as we come up on September 30th, if that appropriations bill does not include spending to fully sp build his wall, not some $1.6 billion for prototypes, I mean to build the southern wall, I believe he will shut down the government. I believe the government will actually shut down in the run-up to the election. You've been really nice about Donald Trump in this interview, and yet he calls you sloppy Steve. He says you've lost your mind. He says you had nothing to do with his election. What's your response? He's Donald Trump. I think he's doing a fantastic job. Look, every day is going to be different. So you just got to, you just got to, you just got to, you got to swing with it. You know, I, I knew Trump for many, many years before I stepped into the campaign. Not, not, not really well. Has he privately called you to tell you, Steve, I'm just kidding? No, trust me, he does not do that. But look, every action he's taking, I, I am really happy with. I think he's got the right, uh, with Larry Kudlow, the right guy at the NEC. I think with John Bolton. He's a total right free trader. You, you, well, but by the way, he made, look what he did. The first interview that Larry Kudlow, Larry Kudlow sat right, down with Peter, no, no, sat down with Peter Navarro. But yeah. when Larry Kudlow went on CNBC and the CNN with his first interviews, he said, hey, we have to be tough on China. China has treated, uh, you know, has, has cheated us. You said it in your column two months ago. We've got China dead to rights on this thing. You, they can't happy talk the way, they can't go to Davos and give some big speech about globalization and how the whole world's about free trading when they run as a mercantilist society. 